finally, Project Re Rainbow is finally out. I've been so excited for this mod ever since it got announced, and like the fact that it's out right now is like so like surreal. But let's play it. So those unfamiliar with this mod, it's basically a huge graphics overhaul to Call of Ultimate to make it look like Unleash and Generations, like if it was released on Xbox 360 basically, and like this just looks so much better than Call of Ultimate. Well, honestly, like I didn't mind Call of Ultimate big visuals, like the bloom and stuff like that too. Like it's pretty nice, but like this is just like a massive leap of difference. Like it's just so so good, bro. It's literally like you know so good, bro. It's just amazing. Like I can't say the word because YouTube. But like this is literally S, like in the video game, like it's just so cool. So like, this is like, bro, it's just like so beautiful. It's, it's it feels like surreal to like this like the mod is actually out. Like I mean, it's a preview, but this mod is like you know it's still out. Like come on, like yeah, it's just bro, like it's just so beautiful. Like man, like if Color Ultimate was like this, bro, then like this has been amazing. Like. Bro, this is just so good. I know I'm gaslighting this like a lot, but like, bro, it's just so freaking good. Like, it just like feels like still like close to OG colors, but like still like feels like an actual like remaster of the game. And there we go. The save's almost done, but basically, yeah. Hey. And we're here in Sweet Mountain, and it's a lot more colorful than Ultimate, basically. I gotta say this, but like, colors has like the best level themes out of any Sonic game. Like, it's just like so cool. Like you had like, you know, Choco Resort, you have a island dedicated to like food, candies, you know, desserts. And like, you have a, a whole planet full of wisp, a whole aquarium, you know, an asteroid coaster and like a Star White Carnival in space. Like, it's just like so fresh, so unique. Like, I really enjoy colors a lot. Like, I mean, the one little nitpick I do have is like, you know, the filler axe like i didn't feel like six acts is like needed for this game like personally like, it was just, like you know just three acts like how originally it was and like like most of them like use like one huge mega level like unleashed it then like this would be like probably like really like good probably like you know like in my like six hair sonic game cause, like i really enjoy colors like colors is so like in my top 10 hair sonic games like that game like sure like there's some problems with the game but like it's still a really fun game like i absolutely adore colors and i'm like i was like really excited for call ultimate because like you know this game was finally like you know at least out of um like nintendo purgatory even though it fit pretty well for wii actually too but like so cool you know it got came out you know obviously it wasn't like how um everyone wanted but like personally like you know i definitely do enjoy call ultimate a lot and make like, the game okay wow and like, the game's in a better state now than it was i mean obviously there's still like a lot of glitches found this game basically like um this one capsule and asteroid coaster which has not been fixed at all but like day one was definitely problematic obviously like literally like it was just so flawed there we go Alrighty, star right carnival here so as you see already i'm going for like act ones of each stage but i might go for extra act if i do feel like it basically we're maybe going for act ones here because, I mean, they're the better ones, honestly. Yeah, like, Call Ultimate, like, when it came out, like, was very, very rough. Like, obviously, on Switch, like, yeah, that was, like, really rough. But luckily, the game's in a better state now than it was. I mean, like, a lot of the stuff has been fixed. Like, literally, like, the Switch version had a lot of, like, seizure glitches, which is, like, literally insane. Like, I feel like this game definitely needed more time in the oven. Like, definitely, like, at least, like, two months, like, than it originally was. Like, if it were came out, like, November or December, like, 2021, then, like... It probably been a better say and like a game was supposed to come out like in 2020 basically according to the leaks but like obviously you know a certain something happened at the time that uh caused stuff to go uh crazy so that never happened but basically yeah and i got cube here which is pretty cool but like this is like so cool so so cool like obviously like there's some stuff in like this game like this version that i like prefer more than the og colors like the homing attack and like the rival rush mode and like some other stuff too is like really like really cool like look at this dude like it's just so cool bro like i can't go back to og like 
part with ultimate anymore like it's just literally like the best way to play this game like and obviously you know like like before then there was like on epic game store on pc like epic game store exclusive which was like very annoying but luckily it came to steam like two years later like you know last year basically and like me like yeah it's like literally like better launcher basically but yeah it's just, like i it's so so cool but what's it called i i think um like this mob is just like makes the game like overall like better visually which is like once again i didn't mind the boom at all like once again i didn't mind the boom at all like the boom was actually like not that bad it was pretty like you know pretty at times too like obviously like covers is a wii game and like it definitely needed like a little like visual overhaul but like this is just so much better like props to the fans for like doing this like it's just absolutely like anyone who, like does the like, sound like like you know mods and like fan games are like just so dedicated huge props to them like it's just they do their job very very well like it's just so cool and like if you know me like i mean if you watch my streams i've been doing a um sonic marathon and we get the calls you know ultimate this would be the mod i'm going for which would be pretty exciting which yeah it's just like yeah it's so so cool see make it here i don't think i'll make it here let's wait for this to get crushed do that okay nice keep boosting keep boosting there we go bro like starlight carnival is just so like as i'm saying like colors is like level themes just so vibrant and like style it's just like man like actually colors are just so beautiful like literally it's just, like aquarium park is like way pretty than this but like it's just so cool here we are planet wisp this is looks so beautiful like literally like it's just so vibrant too like like i said before i mean i'm, I'm saying like beautiful and, like vibrant like so many times but like that's what it like literally is like it's just such a pretty mod like just like such a pretty mod so pretty but like obviously like this game is just so good but like it did like brought some damage to the franchise as a whole like during the 2010s basically where like you know we have like more like pretty mediocre stories and like simplistic you know like trying to be safe and also like it's just like it got a bit out of hand with like stuff like forces and like lost world but like luckily like we're past that you know we got frontiers like like so far like this decade of sonic like this current decade like 2020 onward like is really the best the franchise has been in a very long time like because like you know, the movies did so well you know we got frontiers which you know obviously you know wasn't perfect because me like it was lacked the polish a bit but like it was a really fun game it was like i you know describe it as like a i pretty much like describe frontiers as like a beautiful mess like that's like, the best way to describe it basically and then what's it called like that's the continuous of like you know we got superstar the guy you know prime like those two like aren't really like the best but like you know it's content that you know that we all can like watch and it can occupy you know before you know the next like sonic game and you know we're getting shadow generation this like in next month basically which to be exciting it's pretty interesting that like, what's it called like the spin dash and the light speed dash are tied with the wisps so, like you know the spike you know or the spin dash and then the light speed dash is like tied to the um hover wisp which is like pretty cool and got this like okay i forgot about this like mechanic here the ghost wisp pretty cool you know wisp though actually it debuted from team sonic racing which i mean it's a pretty cool wisp okay there we go and the gold ring we're at aquarium park and bro like look at this this is so beautiful like whoa like dude this is so pretty like bro i can't like this is like the best Call was ultimate mod like literally like, like there's like not much mods for this game basically it's like kind of surprising but then again like there's like epic game store exclusive and then like it came to steam like two years later like last year so like and also like everybody also like there's some like code like coding that's like very complicated that like a lot of moderators like don't want to like touch this game with like a 10 foot pole basically like it's like literally insane but like yeah it's just like this mod though is like real like really really like pretty like the look at the water bro the water bro the water looks so beautiful like pretty bro i wish i could taste it though like i wish i could taste like drink the freaking water like this is so like pretty like aquarium park is just so like one of the best stages in the game like 
aquarium park. Like, bro, like, look at this, bro. This is so beautiful, man. This is so good. But I wish, like, this sage was in Generations instead of, um, Point of Wisp. Because, like, I take this sage over Point of Wisp any day. Like, that, like, this sage is so, like, amazing. Like, Point of Wisp is, like, is a good sage. Generations, like, Point of Wisp is, like, you I mean, it's good, but, like, probably, like, the worst sage in the game by far. I mean, like, well, Classic is, like, bad. But, like, Modern Sonic is, like, pretty good, but, like, I'm gonna go over here, actually. Actually, wait. Is there, I don't think there's a way to actually go here. I thought there actually was. I probably got confused like something else, but like, there we go. End the stage. And here we are. Act 6. I said before, you know, I was going to do like, I might do like one of the like filler acts basically. And like, I decided to go over this one because like, this is like the best one. The best filler act in the um, entire game, in my opinion. Like, it's just so good. Once again, like, it did. Once again, if they did like just like three acts for each like world, then like I will probably be like top six. But some of the favorite acts are just like very like kind of mid. They aren't bad, but it's just like mid, basically. I'm gonna go over this ghost with basically. Alrighty, uh, there we go. Nice. Um, over here. Nice. All right, we're finally underwater. Just the drawing music was about to play. There you go, like, bro, like, look at this. This is so beautiful. It's so good, bro. So vibrant. And, like, the water, bro. I wish you can just, like, drink it. This is so cool. Bro, this is amazing, dude. Like, once again, props to the mods, bro. I'm gonna go over here, actually. And I'll go over here. Should be fine enough. I prefer this one a lot more, basically. But like the rings are like a lot more shiny. Like this is like literally like feels like generations. And like bro, it's just they achieve it like very very well. It's just so good. They also reworked the cutscenes too, but like um unfortunately like a lot of people like since like a lot of people like down this mod, like um what's it called? Like I uh what's it called couldn't really Ooh, okay cool. Nice clutch save. But since like a lot of people like but since, like, a lot of people, like, already, like, downloaded this mod, like, I, uh, wasn't able to, uh, act like, get, um, the download for the, um, the full version. So, so I get the, so I decided to get the white version of this, um, mod, which, like, the only, like, difference between the full and, like, light versions, like, you know, the full version has all the cutscenes reworked, and the light version just have the sages, the cutscenes remain the same, basically, which, I mean, fine enough, though. I'll probably get it like once it like slows down because like this like mod is like highly in demand. It's just so cool. Uh, what's it called? An ice? <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that. They're actually close to the end too. And look at that. Right there. Homie attack. Bro. Bro. Sonic, what are you doing? Oh my god. Do not. Let's go over here. Okay, cool. Nice. Alrighty, last stage in this video. Asteroid Coaster at 1. This stage is, like, pretty good, actually. But, like, I play this stage the least out of the other, like, levels in this game, basically. It's still, like, a good stage. Don't get me wrong. Just, I just don't think, um, like... Other stages are, like, better than this, basically. And, yeah, that capsule, um... Has not been fixed at all. It's just like it's crazy, but like, dude, so like beautiful. Like it's like literally like what's like I said before. Like it's literally vibrant. It's so cool. All right, Grumzy, come a giant like 3D Pac-Man. Look at that, dude. It's so cool, bro. Like it's just so shiny, dude. I love it. All right, over here. Okay. Wow. Oh wait, what? Uh oh. Okay. That's a weird glitch. What? Um, okay. Is this thing actually, like, bugged? Like... Okay, there we go. That was weird. I think I didn't, like, get all the rainbow rings at the same time. So that's probably why, um... Did that. But... Good to know. Go over here. Like, this game got, like, the most underrated platforming in any, like, video game. Like, any platformer, like, period. It's just, like so underrated like i love the platforming and colors a lot like this got better platforming like 3d wise like this got like better platforming 
than Sonic Heroes. And that's saying something too, like, this got like better like 3D platforming than like Sonic Heroes. <laughs> I mean, I definitely like, preferred this game over Heroes a lot. In, like, a lot of areas basically. Like, Heroes is like still a good game, don't get me wrong. Like, but like, Colors is way better than Heroes. Like, bro, like, come on. Like, Sonic Heroes, if you say Sonic Heroes better than Sonic Colors, then like, you're not. Bro, get out of here. Like, you. <laughs> that's a. L opinion right there, cause just colors is like it's like more fun than heroes. This is a lot more fun than heroes. Like I mean, it got better controls than heroes too, basically. But like, yeah, it's just like everything this game does is like better than heroes. I mean, obviously, well, hero story better than cover story, obviously. But like, cover story is not even bad at all. Now, don't get me wrong, I still enjoy heroes. I'm just you know, you know, poking fun at uh, the quote unquote. People that say Sonic Heroes is the GOAT. <laughs> Which, you know, if you say Sonic Heroes, you, you like Sonic Heroes, and like, yeah, it's pretty good. I enjoy Sonic Heroes, but like, it's not perfect. Don't get me wrong. But, catch y'all later. <laughs>